Quest, I didn't know the album was that good because I am hard on myself, right? So I right. never thought it was that good. I didn't know the album was that good till about three years later. And what was yeah, so what wait, you what? what was the yeah? Well, what how did you was, know? Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> it started reaction, coming hopefully. back to me. Yeah, it started coming back to me. You know, right. and it became it became the international fuck that motherfucker album. It, yeah, I and mean, live people, your life. People start coming up to you, shaking and crying, and yeah. you know, freaking you out. You say, "Oh, well, maybe you did something kind of cool." You know, yeah. maybe yeah, maybe you did something. But I never, I never took it that serious. To this day, I don't. You know, I just feel like we do things. It pours out of us. We, I feel like we're just vessels. Like a, you know, you Facts. got the opening and then you got the spout, mm-hmm. and God pours into you, and you pour out, and that's just how it goes. So I don't. You just got to be open of, to receive it. And I don't hold a lot of ownership to the accolades that come with it or the criticism. I don't hold that stuff. So I can't really hold, you know, like, like, oh, I did this thing. I'm just grateful I was a vessel. Talk about Be Your Girl. That one Mm -hmm. was, so for us, like on the, on the, like the heavy hip hop side, Mm -hmm. the thing that caught me about that is it was a sample of, or it was a replay of a a record Nas did called One on One, which was, it was on the Street Fighter soundtrack, which, like that so shit random crazy right. so random like it wasn't like a big Nas record but it was you know if you knew it you knew it and right. so I was like oh damn she's singing over that then the beat drop I was like oh shit she's singing singing like this shit is hard so how did that one get chosen to be the single and kind of what was that trajectory like to see that record kind of go up the label chose it as the single um I thought it was slow first of all I didn't want to be so mellow y'all see I got this hyper I, I could have been a rapper you know what I mean yeah. I have such a hyper personality so I didn't want to be so mellow that's where Polly came in to like smooth me out you know what I mean he was like well his number one question would always and it annoyed the shit out of me he would always be like would Aaliyah sing this would Aaliyah sing this would, mm-hmm. would Aaliyah do that and I'm like why do you keep because I wasn't really I wasn't like you know sim- like soft like that and sensual mm-hmm. like that I mean Maybe I was, and I just didn't see it. You know what mm. I mean? Because my friend would always tell me that's always been me, but I didn't see it. So um, when that when we first started on that beat, it had these dirty, dirt, way dirtier drums, like okay, kind of grimy sounding. Not not so like they didn't crack like the ones that are actually on the record. Mm. And Raz did that. Raz, um, he was like, put the Mary Jane girls drums on it instead, you know. And that's kind of how mm. that came about. And the Street Fighter thing. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I didn't know that that was a sample from Nas singing. I don't know. I just yeah. would watch Belly every day, <laughs> multiple times, <laughs> multiple times, sitting on my couch, smoking a joint, while, and probably sipping some type of two buck chuck from Trader Joe's. Yes, and, the shawl. Um, yes, the shawl. Whoa, <laughs> shawl. <laughs> yeah. Yes, girl. This is the day where you just have to find a little coin to get through. You know. And so I would sit there and I would watch it and I just got so infatuated with Nas. Like I made this idea about who this man was that probably really wasn't him. And then I just got into like listening to his music and all of this stuff. You know, I was, <laughs> I was so, 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 so into him that I just started writing this song, you know, with him in mind, like, you know, it wasn't Take you so to Africa. Oh God, Amir, I my least favorite question. Oh, well, where was he Yo, going? Where was he going? The where was he that's going? Far. I Just put Africa my money. In general. I put my money where my mouth is. I have a closet full of twenty Africas. I knew that. I was like, Yo, I'm, I'm gonna make me some Africas far T-shirts. I'm my only client. I got like twenty. Africa's for our t-shirts in my closet right now. Oh, 